What's going on everybody? I hope you're all having a great day today. You know, have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. It is about to turn seven o'clock and I am about to do a draft. ESPN NFL fantasy draft. Should be able to see that right there. We got 10 minutes left. So I thought I would like share share some pre-game draft strategy for you all. I'm trying to get you guys to see me the best I can, best you can. Not me, that is. All right, camera's on, we're good. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, we got 10 minutes, so I'm gonna try to go for, I believe, in my opinion, the best. By the way, this is my favorite time of the year is when you can finally draft a, draft a fantasy football league. I hope you all can hear me pretty good. I'm recording this on my phone. I turned the TV down some more. All right. We are approaching nine minutes now into this pre-game, well, pre-draft. There we go. All right. I'm going to try to go for running back, like I mentioned earlier. Or if, if, try to go for the best player, number one, which would be Christian McCaffrey. He would be a pretty darn good player to go for. Um, try to go for a running back or a quarterback, and the best quarterback, which would be Tom Brady or Matthew Stafford. Or, or you can go for a wide receiver, Debo Samuel. He would be very good to get your status, your fantasy stats ranking up there. Um, let's see. Uh, Stephon Diggs would be a good one. Juju Smith-Schuster. Here we go. Cooper Cup. He would be good. Here are the... Uh, Leonard Fournette. Cal Alvin Kamara. There's Debo Samuel. Joe Nixon would be good. Stephon Diggs. Christian McCaffrey. But my boy Jonathan Taylor is the number one. But he'll already be gone. So you'll need a backup plan like Cooper Cup. He'll probably be gone though. Derrick Henry, he gets hurt, but he will be a he would be a great option. But Christian McCaffrey, I'm not so sure about these two guys here, but I think this guy is pretty good because he's on the he is on the Chargers after all. So I'm not sure, but four and five would be really good. Be really great out of, out of all these NFL players. Now, again, I'm giving you guys my pre draft strategy here. Who I would go for, Tyreek Hill. He would be he would be great to go for Patrick Mahomes. Travis Kelsey would be good. Anybody on the Chiefs, basically. A.J. Brown, he's a pretty good one. The Tennessee Titans, anybody on the Titans would be good too. Because they're a great team. Past few years, Saquon Barkley. I've had Josh Jacobs on my team before. He didn't do all that great, in my opinion. Pittman Jr., my team, the Colts. Ezekiel Jackson. Antonio Gibson. He's decent. Josh Allen and Marquise Brown would be good. And if you guys don't do this before your draft starts, I don't know why you don't do this. And again, I'm holding the ring light as well as the phone <laughs> so you all can see and see this laptop and me. Uh, George Kittle, he's always a great tight end. Tyler Lockett, he's decent. 
Michael Thomas, not bad, but I'm pretty sure he gets hurt a lot. You don't want to get injury prone guys. Lamar Jackson, I've had him. He's really great for fantasy points. Uh, there's, there's Juju. Adam Smith or Adam Thielen is decent. Devontae Smith. I never had him before, but I don't get anybody from the Eagles because you know they suck. If you get, if you get players from sucky teams, then they're most likely going to suck. There's Tom Brady. Joe Burrow would be good. I I usually go for Rodgers or Brady. Russell Wilson would be good for your fantasy points. D Hop. Let's see. Matthew Stafford, there he is. Let's do one more page. Um, see if there's anybody worth drafting. What if there's a way I could get you guys to see me while I draft at the same time? Before the timer runs out here. Oh, it is. Alright. Oh, I got... Somehow I got the, uh... The screw loose. <laughs> I'm still here with y'all. Approaching three minutes. And also, it is supposed to storm tonight, so I'm trying to get a draft in before the storm hits, and it's something to do. I've always liked the draft process of it. Make sure this don't fall off again. Nope. I think it did that because I was holding it weird or something. Two minutes left, y'all. So, who do you think I should go for? 
a running back, a quarterback, or a wide receiver. And I'm going to flip the camera around to my point of view here. Well, maybe. I just unplug my charger. This ain't gonna work, so. What we can do is. We got one minute, y'all. And let me know if you guys have done any drafts already, even though it's still pretty early for football and it's going to be coming in a few weeks. All right, the seven, and then they usually give you like 15 minutes or so. saying the draft room is now open this can also be like a um, tutorial for y'all if you've never done like a fantasy draft before it's saying it's open but it usually gives you like 10 to 15 minutes so it'll probably give us five minutes we got two minutes left I'll guarantee you Jonathan Taylor will be gone, so we don't gotta worry about him, unfortunately. I'm not on auto, am I? It's saying I got the first pick, so I can go after Taylor if I want. Which I've never had the first pick before, y'all. I swear to you. We only have like four people drafted in this one, in this league. The rest are on auto picks. This is what happened in my life, by the way. I don't know what happened. It won't stand up. So I want to fix that. All right, so you're gonna be Taylor or McCaffrey in the first pick. That's me. There's Taylor McCaffrey. Again, like I mentioned before, um, wide receivers are good to go for too, though, in the first, in, with your first few picks. Taylor, Cup, McCaffrey, Eckler, and Jefferson already gone. I can't believe I got Taylor. I knew McCaffrey would be gone too. I knew these three would be gone. He's still uh, deciding his pick here. All right, 
I might go for Debo. Devontae Adams gone. Or Tyreek Hill might go for him. Hop is suspended. DeAndre Hopkins is suspended. Was not aware of that, so don't pick him. Derrick Henry is also gone. Still deciding his pick, so he might not know what to go for. He's not on auto pick though, so Stefan Diggs gone. Debo and Delvin Cook. Tyree Kill is most likely going to be gone because we have two picks and two picks to go, and there's he's on the second one, so he is right here. And then again, I'm going to try to make this be my only draft this year I do. I usually do like three or four because I love, just like how I mentioned to you, I love doing drafts so much. Tyreek is still there. I'm going to go for Tyreek Hill and then Aaron Jones, I think. Or I might go for Aaron Jones and Michael Pittman Jr. That would be... Okay, he's still here. And then... Aaron Jones is gone. So then you go for Saquon Barkley. I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident about this team so far. You got JT, John Taylor, Ty, TH, Tyreek Hill, and then you got. SB Saquon Barkley, that's pretty good. Now if Michael Pittman Jr. is still there, I'll go for him. My Josh Allen is the first um, quarterback that pops up for quarterback, so I might go with Josh Allen. And then again, I hope you all are enjoying this kind of video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And leave your thoughts down below on if you like my team, how you would 
you draft a different team, how you how your pre-draft strategy would go. Ezekiel Elliott and James Conner, both good running backs to have on your team. However, Ezekiel Elliott is kind of eh with his fantasy points, but he can get you some really good, solid points, fantasy points. These guys are taking forever, so just hang in there. If you've made it this far, you can make it the rest of the video. Again, if I'm being, if I'm not saying a whole lot, it's because I'm trying to draft my next few um, fantasy teammates for for everybody to see. This is our next pick, so right here. So we got a minute. Here's all the guys that's been drafted already. There's Pittman Jr. So I'm gonna try to go for him. J.K. Dobbins gone. He's a pretty good wide receiver. <laughs> Running back for the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Henzo's taking forever with his picks. He must be really analyzing the situation here. I'm going to try to go for Pittman or Josh Allen. Or Patrick Mahomes. He'd be a really, really great quarterback. Houston is still on the clock. That's who's all been gone. There we go. He got McLaren and AJ Brown. So I don't see Pittman anymore. Where'd he go? There he is. Again, pre playing your draft picks. So you don't end up with a crappy team. All right, Team Sam is on the clock now. Oh, here's my team. 
Taylor Barkley Hill. That alone right there just sounds like a deadly combo or trio. Now I'm going to try to go for Pittman Jr. Like I mentioned, or Josh Allen. And Pittman Jr. is gone, which that's all right. All right, Strand is on the clock. We got two picks up here. There's a uh, Pittman Jr. being going. That's my Colts, you know, my team, the Colts. I try to get many of those guys as I can. Or the one that has, that's really talented for the Colts. All right, I'm going to try to go for Josh Allen. He got... Josh Allen. Who else should we get, y'all? Is Debo on here still? Where, uh, Chris Godwin. Might go for Chris Godwin. Okay. I'm not really sure right now, y'all. I just went with Chris Godwin. Josh Allen, here's an updated list of my team I got. Josh Allen, quarterback, running back. Jonathan Taylor, Tyreek Hill, wide receiver, Saquon Barkley, running back, Chris Godwin, wide receiver. That's a pretty good team so far. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. And that's why you always plan, plan ahead your draft picks so you're not in a situation like that. Which I think I recovered pretty well in that situation, though. Might go for Matthew Stafford as my second quarterback. We need a tight end, though. Patrick Mahomes is gone. That's a very good pick. I'm going to might go for Matthew Stafford. Kyle Pitts will be gone. So, because we're way at the end up here, we're back here. I 
or George Kittle. That's who I'm getting. San Francisco is pretty good. They got some good things going out there in San Francisco Bay. Again, if you all would like to um, do a fantasy draft with me, yours truly, leave your um, leave your name down below, or just say, "Hey, I'm doing a fantasy draft. You can join or whatever, and I'll join." I love football. I love basketball, and baseball. Um, baseball was all right. I didn't. I don't like it as much as I used to like it. Um, but I still watch it occasionally. I love, I love going to live baseball games as much as um, I do playing it. I like to play game baseball games like in real life and um, go to live ones. But we just have the Indianapolis Indians, though. But they're pretty good. They are champions a few years ago. Champions of minor, minor league baseball. Justin Herbert, he's pretty good. Gonna go for George Kittle, San Francisco tight end, 49ers. And then maybe another quarterback like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, or Patrick Mahomes. Might do the Mahomes. Um, I'll do the Mahomes Josh Allen combo, that'd be pretty deadly. I'm just looking outside on the weather, y'all. Um, it's getting kind of cloudy. Hopefully we keep power all night tonight. All right, Houston's on the clock with 15 seconds. You can see my team down here below as I show you who's on the clock. And there is um, Holmes is gone. He's out right here. That's how I can see who's who's picked what. Team Sam. Mahomes is gone, so I'll go with Kittle. Um, Lamar Jackson or Tom Brady. Or, um, might do Kittle and Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He'd be good. He's top 100. 85, that's not bad. Or might go for Naheem Hines. Shout out to my Colts. And that's where we're at right now. About to enter in the seventh round. We're in the sixth round, ending of the sixth, beginning of the seventh, because I was first pick. There goes Kittle. That's all right, though. They needed him more than I did. So I'll do Edwards Hilaire. If y'all don't love that sound, out, there's something wrong with you then. All right, there's Edwards Hilaire. We need a backup and a flex. Let's do, I can't believe Lamar Jackson's still on here, so you know what? There we go. All right, we got our flex. We need a tight end. What about... What about a tight end still? And... Um, there's Naheem Hines. Right there. Team Sam is up with 50 seconds left. You better hustle. 
Um, might go for Naheem Hines as a backup running back. Where's the Colts tight end at? That's what I'm looking for. Kyler Murray. I thought about choosing him. He's gone. Marlon Mack. Oh, he went to Houston. I liked him though, but he got he got hurt for us for the Colts quite a bit. <laughs> Chase Edmonds. I'll go for him. But I don't see. Dak Prescott, Damian Harris, Michael Thomas, Hunter Renfro, Allen Robinson. Not bad, not bad with all those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Juju Smith Schuster. Naheem Hines. Juju Smith Schuster, maybe? I might go for that combo. I need a tight end, though. Hunter Henry might go for him. Even though Boo, New England. Mm, who is the first tight end that pops up right now? Hmm. I'll go for Zach Ertz. Heck yeah. Former Philadelphia Eagle tied in now with uh, Arizona. Kyler Murray hitting dimes to him, so that would be a good... You, gotta, you have to think like that, like how they play too, if you're not sure. Trey Lance, I'm not sure who that is, but he's a San Francisco quarterback. Name kind of sounds familiar though. Matthew Stafford is still on on the list. Juju is still on the list. Aaron Rodgers, Joe Burrow gone. Tom Brady, somebody finally drafted him. Devontae Smith. He'd be a good wide receiver. You know what? I'm gonna switch it up. We're gonna go. Zach Ertz. There he is. Just drop him. You can also search. Up here, who you want, then it goes back to the regular list. We can still do Naheem Hines if we want, though. Juju. There's the updated team. How do you all think about my team? You can leave your opinion down below, your comments.
hope you all are enjoying this kind of video too it's a different kind of video i like doing these kind of videos though because sports is my passion can't believe matthew stafford's still on there man might go for mike galeski tight end miami dolphins I'm just thinking out loud, Joe. Chase Edmonds. Might get him instead of Hines. Or you could do both. It don't matter. We have three wide receivers. Getting these take for for a minute. Because of um, people don't pay attention and all these auto picks. This is where we're at right here. He's probably not paying attention. But they're going it's going kind of fast though. We're already at the eleventh round. Not too bad. Who are y'all's teams you're rooting for this year? I'm pretty pumped about some football basketball just ended. I'm pretty happy with the outcome on that. Warriors won. Warriors. Steph Curry, that's my boy. Uh, one of them, anyway. He's one of my favorite players. Okay, I might go for Naheem Hines. And because he's a really good running back too. Like our whole our whole team is pretty pretty darn gosh darn talented if you ask me. Just we've we've had a bad pass though with records and injuries and such. And people being traded, people leaving. I'm trying to find Naheem Hines at the moment. There he is. There's Naheem Hines right there. Naheem Hines in a tight end still. Do, 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 do. There's Mike Galeski. Chase Edmonds. We got enough running backs. Maybe one more wide receiver could go for a defense at this moment. This moment in time. At this point. 
Jacoby Myers, he's not bad. Derek Carr. Actually, we have Juju. So we'll get a top, or a defense. Go for Colts. You know what? I'm gonna go for Rams defense if they're on here. We got 30 seconds, so. Where's Rams at? Here we go. Now we need a kicker. No pun intended. <laughs> Probably go for a kicker now. Might go for Evan McPherson or Justin Tucker. Probably get Tucker. That's who I usually go with every year. I'm going to scoot my table back here. All right. for Tucker kicker Washington Commanders. That name just gets me every time. We can't be offensive anymore to people. It's sad if you ask me. Alright, so again, we're going to go for a Justin Tucker kicker. And... Again, don't get Deshaun Watson. Because we all know about his situation that's been going on. And if you don't, have you been living under a rock or something? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, Matthew Stafford's finally gone. We're getting closer to our pick here. I go for Ravens defense. We're on the clock in three picks. You should be able to see that the whole way if I sideways it. Let me know your all thoughts in the comments about my team. I think I drafted a pretty darn good team. You can go for a similar team if you'd like to. Or like strategize. I wouldn't copy it though. Because you never know. And like other people's situations and stuff. Like who's left. You know you got to think it out. To get a good team. You got to know past history of football to get a good team. Mm. All right, 
let's see we got this two out of four quarterbacks four out of eight running backs this is what i have right now three out of eight wide receivers one out of three tight ends all right there's justin tucker Drafted Justin Tucker. Need another tight end and another defense. Logan Thomas is out. Austin Hooper. We're getting dubs this season, y'all. And he's on Tennessee this year. He probably left because Matt Ryan came to Indy with the Colts for us. Again, I don't pay any, any attention really to other teams other than the Colts. Um, 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 um. Carson wins. <laughs> he didn't do that very good for us last year. He did decent at best. Ryan Tannehill, he'd be a good quarterback to get. But we're good in the uh, QB department, though, because we got Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. Got three selections left, y'all. Robbie Gold would be a good kicker. I still don't see a tight end for the Colts, though. I don't know what's up with that. Free agent, Odell Beckham Jr. I, I would have got him a long time ago. Kenyon Drake, he'd be a good one. A good um, last minute running back. So I don't see anybody. Well, we already have two tight ends, though, but Colts defense is gone, shockingly, because we've been doing pretty good last year, so somebody actually got the Colts defense. And again, I hope you all are enjoying this video. I usually do drafts with randoms. All right, nobody that, I, that I'm wanting. Is going. We're gonna do Robbie Gold for a backup uh, kicker. I feel pretty solid about him. Robbie Anderson, Larry, Tyler Higby. Mm -hmm. Field, Alec Pierce. He's on the Colts, not um, too sure about him. Like how he plays and all that. Daniel Jones, he's fallen off these past few seasons with, um, oh, I might go for Julio Jones with the Giants, Daniel Jones, Julio Jones, I've just seen him. There he is, and I'm on the clock, here we go. Julio Jones. And where is Robbie? A 
heavy gold. Updated team right here. Very, very good. Now I'm going to go for another defense because, you know, all these bye weeks be hurting us, y'all, and injuries and such like that. See Buccaneers. We're gonna go with Buccaneers defense. All right, this will be my last pick. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please uh, comment and subscribe if you're new, and make sure you watch all the way through, please. And I'm sorry about the technical difficulties that I had just a minute ago. Well, about 10, 15 minutes ago. And um, there's my light situation right now. I won't stay up for some reason. But I'm going to fix it. It was worth it, though, to hopefully a lot of you all watch this for the, for the sports fanatic content out there. And again, if you, got, if you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments below. I've been doing NFL drafts for the past few years, like four or five years now. And I usually just have like two or three wins or something like that, like five wins, you know, like not very many wins. But I enjoy it just because like the injuries hurt me. So I don't really have a whole lot of wins. But I try to draft, draft the best team I possibly can, as you can see right here. It's not a bad team, really, guys. And we're going to go for Tampa Bay defense. Here you go. Here's my... We only have two guys that, are, that have the same bye week. Four guys that have the same bye week. Week 10 and week 11. That's not bad at all. Three guys. Let's see. Four, five guys. That's not bad. That's why you draft more than... The same position that you possibly can that are the best out there that you can draft at that moment in time Ravens defense gone they usually got good defense mm -hmm. All right, we're the first and the last pick now, last but not least, right here. I can't believe I was the first pick in this one, y'all. Because I was, like, way at the bottom of the list, but you know how they randomize it and all that crap. Mm -hmm. I right, see how everybody's going fast now. They probably won't now because I had to... Let's see. All right, we got two picks left. Where's Buccaneers defense? Oh, they're gone. I didn't see them get drafted though. All right, we need a good. We need a good defense, guys. Patriots. All right, there's my team. Very, very solid. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't consider it good just yet because we're not going to know how they're going to do. share it to my Facebook. Let's 
see what my Facebook friends think about this. Number one pick is Jonathan Taylor. He's a beast. I hope he continues to be a beast this year for us. Look at them stats. Crazy. Draft is complete. All right, you guys. That's it for this video. It has now reached the one hour, one hour mark. I have never recorded a video that, that long before from my YouTube. So if you appreciate the dedication from from the hard work and all that and the thinking process and the drafting process and the this and that and process and just uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if if you're new make sure you watch the video all the way through give your thoughts down below don't forget to like the video and i hope you all have the best luck you possibly can in this upcoming draft and if you want to you can do a draft with me if you want i promise i won't beat you too bad and until the next video, you guys.